Meg, Chip, Manu, Emma and Rosa are all at school. There is always so much to do in their classroom. Today, they are all doing different things and they are all feeling different. Chip is trying to walk with stilts in the outdoor area. He is feeling frustrated. Oh, I can't balance on these. Every time I get both feet on, I wobble and fall off. Oh. What do you think frustrated means? Have you ever felt frustrated? What do you think Chip should do? Here are some ideas that Chip could try to help him feel better. He could move more slowly. This would help him get his balance. He could ask his teacher or friend to help him get onto the stilts. He could have a break and do something else for a while, then try again. Are any of these ideas the same as yours? Emma is waiting to start the nest building activity her teacher has set up. She is feeling eager. I can't wait to build a nest for my cuddly owl. There are twigs and leaves and grass and feathers. It's going to be great fun. What do you think eager means? Have you ever felt eager? Can you think of something you are eager to try? People are usually eager to try nice things. They might be eager to eat delicious food or eager to play in a huge playground. Maybe eager to see a new film at the cinema. Meg is investigating what is inside the mystery box. She is feeling curious. I really want to know what is inside. There are lots of small pieces. They feel hard. Let me see if they feel rough too. What do you think curious means? Have you ever felt curious? Can you think of something you are curious about? People are often curious about the things they do not know or do not understand. Lots of people are curious about the creatures that live in the deep sea or what it is like in space. Others like to know how things work, what makes a clock tick or how computer games are made. Rosa is threading beads to make a necklace. She is persevering. Some of the holes in the beads are very small and the thread is quite thick. I have dropped the beads a few times and once they all dropped off the string. But I know I can do it. What do you think persevering means? Have you ever persevered? Rosa is finding threading the beads difficult, but she hasn't given up. She keeps trying. Some things need lots of practice before we get them right. Activities such as playing a musical instrument, learning to swim and learning how to write letters all take perseverance. Manu is sitting on his own in the book corner. He is feeling downhearted. I don't understand why Rosa doesn't want to play with me. I want to play with her. We always play with the dinosaurs together. What do you think downhearted means? Have you ever felt downhearted? What do you think Manu should do? Here are some ideas that Manu could try to make himself feel better. He could ask Rosa why she doesn't want to play with him. Or he could find someone else to play with. Maybe he could play with the dinosaurs on his own. Are any of these ideas the same as yours? Can you explain what these words mean to your teachers or family or friends? Frustrated, eager, curious, persevere and downhearted.